It's me, Mrs. Wentworth. I'm here to show you how to do today's project for our music classes. Uh, today we're going to talk about the pentatonic scale. Now I have a part that's underlined in there. The word penta, or the prefix I should say, penta, is an important part of the word. Pentatonic. Penta you have seen in many other things before. I'm sure you've seen it in your math classes. Um, you all know about the pentagon. Okay, that's a shape. Okay, let's put that right there. How many sides does it have? Five. Now there's a building in Washington, D.C. called the Pentagon. How many sides? Five. It looks like the shape of the Pentagon shape, the polygon. So that's how it got its name, because of its shape. And then a lot of you probably have also heard of the group called the Pentatonics. And how many people are in the Pentatonics? Five. Very good. Let's listen to some of their music right now. So, um, the magic number here that we're seeing is five. So the reason why that's important is the pentatonic scale is not like the normal scale that you have heard before, like uh, in The Sound of Music when she's singing do a deer, a female deer, that has do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. So that has a lot more notes to it. There's seven unique notes. In the pentatonic scale, there's not seven. How many think there's going to be? Five. That's right. So <clears throat> instead of seven, we switch and we move to only five notes. So instead of do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, we don't have fa. And we don't have T. So a pentatonic scale is just Do, Re, Mi, no Fa, Sol, La, and then no T. And you go back up to Do. So the whole thing Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La. And when you hear the pentatonic scale, it's um, going to sound a lot like music from China and Japan because they use it a lot over there. It's very traditional to what their music sounds like. Um, so what you're going to do today is you're going to go to Song Maker in our, <clears throat> excuse me, in our Chrome Music Lab. And in Song Maker, you're going to make a song just using those five notes. And I'll help you figure out what those five notes are with their colors um, and everything in this tutorial. So let's switch over to Song Maker. Okay, so let's learn how to make a pentatonic scale in song maker and um, then you can use that to make up your own song and um, it's a lot of fun so the first thing I want to do is show you what a pentatonic scale is so a lot of you should know what a pentagon is um, a pentagon in math has how many sides think about it think about it five you should have said five uh, good. So a pentagon has five sides, but a pentatonic scale, how many notes do you think it's going to have? Five notes. Good. So the five notes are do, re, mi, and we're going to skip one, so, and la. Do, re, mi, so, la. And what's cool about this is you could do it in any order you want. Um, I can go back down. And that's what it sounds like. A lot of people, when they hear a pentatonic scale, it makes them think a lot of music from places like China and Japan. And that is because a lot of their music uses the pentatonic scale. It's not a coincidence. So your challenge today is to write a song that uses just these pitches, do, re, mi, so, la. So that would be the red, orange, yellow, teal, not lime green, teal, and purple tiles. You can only use those. You can do them in any order you want. You can change up your instruments if you want to have different instruments. Uh, and same with the beats. 
you could change your speed. And I'm going to show you really quick how to add more notes and more beats too if you want to make your song longer or have more pitches. So if you click, if you didn't see what I just did, I'm going down here to settings and I'm going to increase my range. So right now I only have one octave and I want to have two and that will give me more notes. See if I wanted to, do, re, mi, sol, la, I have do again. Oops, I was off the marimba. Do, re, mi, I can go back and I can keep going up and up and up if I wanted to. And I'm also gonna go back to the scale here and let me see, I'm gonna add length. I'm gonna add a few more bars. Uh, so, and you can see, let's try that. Oh, ooh, and see I have more over here so I could keep going and keep adding more. I wanna make it a little bit slower. actually have fun with it. So let's restart. And I want to have doop, doop, doop. Okay, and let's do this. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just making things up. Let's follow my pattern here. Let's see how that works. Just for fun. And I want to make that there. I like it. So again, it gives you an idea of what to do and make up your own pentatonic scale. Have fun with it. You can add more notes if you want and have uh, multiple lines going. When you're done, you go down to save, copy your link, and that link will show up your assignment, whatever work you are, and, uh, and it will show us what you did. So make sure you copy this link and paste it in your Google Classroom so we can see your work. Great, uh, so good luck making your pentatonic scales. And I hope you have fun. Good luck. So I think you're just about ready to start working on your um, projects for the pentatonic scale. Uh, before we go, I have a really cool little video I wanted to show you. This is a um, speech that a very famous musician, his name is Bobby McFerrin did. Uh, this is a picture of Bobby. And uh, Bobby McFerrin is somebody that I'm sure you've heard some of his music before. Um, let's listen to one of his most famous songs. It's called Don't Worry Be Happy. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. In every life we have some trouble But when you worry you make it double Don't worry Be happy Don't worry, be happy now Don't worry Be happy Don't worry, be happy isn't that cool? I'm pretty sure most of you have heard that song before. So Bobby McFerrin was in the middle of doing um, a speech and some lectures at one of these um, big conferences. And he did a whole thing on the power of the pentatonic scale. And everything you're about to see in this video was completely improvised. Uh, the people in the audience, the people on the stage, um, even Bobby himself uh, didn't really know what was going to happen. Nothing is planned, um, so everything that's happening as you're watching it is just happening naturally just because the pentatonic scale is just such a natural series of notes that people are just so comfortable with. So I hope you enjoy it.
Talking about expectations. Expectations. Watch. Ba. Ba. to me about that is regardless of where I am anywhere every audience gets that but it doesn't matter you know that's just you know the pentatonic scale for some reason if you're looking for a job in neuroscience I, think. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed learning about the pentatonic scale good luck making your own pentatonic scale songs in song maker uh, always feel free to make sure you can ask questions from us if you don't know what you're doing and don't forget to submit your link to your song uh, so that we can actually see what you've done. Good luck. <laughs>